the gradient of the curve y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x square minus 12x plus 8 at x is equal to 0 is minus 12. Now this is a simple curve. Now we need to find out dy by dx. So dy by dx is 2 into 3 x raised to 3 minus 1 2 minus 3 into this 2 2 x raised to 2 minus 1 1 minus 12 into x raised to 1 minus 1 which is 0 constants function uh, derivative is 0 in any case. So this will be 6 x square minus 6 x minus 12. Now dy by dx that is gradient of the curve which is also the slope of the tangent to the curve when x is 0 is 6 into 0 square minus 6 into 0 minus 12 which turns out to be minus 12. So we have minus 12 here. Okay, so we have minus 12. Gradient of the curve y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x square minus 12x plus 8 at x is equal to 0 is minus 12. So the strategy was finding the derivative of this using nx raised to n minus 1 in this particular case and then substituting the value of x that gives you the exact constant which is the slope of the tangent to the curve which is also called the gradient of the curve if you remember as I told in the beginning in the introduction gradient of a curve is nothing but the angle that it makes with the horizontal now a curve cannot make an angle which hence the implicit understanding is that the slope of the tangent to the curve at that particular point okay here we have y is equal to e raised to a log x plus e raised to x log a. Now here we are going to use a particular, we need to do a slight modification. This you are going to write it as y is equal to e raised to log x raised to a. We are going to use a rule that log of x raised to n will always be equal to n log x. Hence reverse n log x can be written as e raised to log x raised to a plus e raised to log a raised to x. Now when you have this kind of a thing, there is one more rule that we do that e log e raised to log of m is nothing but m. e raised to suppose log 3x is going to remain 3x. e raised to log 4 is going to be 4. e raised to log, it is e raised to log, log 7 would be 7. So much the same way here, this y itself, e raised to log x raised to a, so eventually this will be x raised to a plus a raised to x. So ultimately the same function has become this. Then it has become this. So we can use the rule over here that e raised to log m is nothing but m itself. Hence it becomes, it simplifies to something like this. So it's definitely, this is only y but we want to find out dy by dx. So dy by dx comes to d by dx of x raised to a constant. So it's going to be ax raised to a minus 1. a raised to x, it is going to be a raised to x into log a, right? Now among these, there is a, a, a x raised to a minus 1. So the only function among these is this one, which seems to be similar to this. So a x raised to a minus 1, a raised to x log a. So this is our option over here. So remember this particular formula, e raised to log m, it's log m is nothing but m. Okay, further yes, it's starting. Okay, <clears throat> now we have one more. Slope of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x square minus x at the point where the line y is equal to 2 cuts the curve in the first quadrant. So again, this curve is curve intersects y is equal to 2. In short, the particular line y is equal to 2, if you see y is equal to 2 is going to be like this. 
this is x and y axis, y is equal to 2 is here. So, passing through 0, 2, it's going to be y is equal to. So, this particular curve touches this at y is equal to 2. That means the point y anywhere on this y is equal to 2 is common condition for this 2. So, if even for this curve, when we are talking about a particular point, y is equal to 2. So, 2 will turn out to be x square minus x. Another thing is we are looking at points in this quadrant. Okay, so you may have a curve like this, which is intersecting possibly in the first as well as second quadrant. We are not concerned about the second quadrant. So, we are talking about only about the first quadrant. So, since y is equal to 2, it is going to satisfy the curve as well as the particular line. So, you need to solve this. So, you get x square minus x minus 2 is 0, which should be x square minus 2x plus x minus 2 is 0. This gives x is 2 or x is minus 1. Now, it's told that the line cuts this particular curve in the first quadrant. So, in the first quadrant, x coordinate cannot be negative. No points x coordinate can be negative. So, we discard this value. We consider only x is equal to 2. So, this is the point where you have. This. So, we need to find, suppose y is equal to 2 here and the curve goes over here. So, this is the point where we are talking about. So, this is the point where x is 2 as well as y is 2. We need to find the slope of the tangent at this point. So, eventually we need to find out dy by dx for the curve at 2 comma 2. Right. So, what is that going to be dy by dx is nothing but 2x minus 1. So, it is going to be 2 into 2 minus 1. So, the slope of this particular tangent at the point where this curve touches y is equal to 2. That is the point 2 comma 2 is the place where the curve touches this line y is 2. At that point, the derivative of this curve is going to be the slope of the tangent. So, we find the derivative as 2x minus 1, 2x raised to 1 minus x raised to 0 that is minus 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. So, hence the slope of such a tangent is going to be 3. So, we have it as 3 over here. Yes, we do have it. Okay. Now, we have a much simpler sum. For the curve x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2hy is 0, the value of dy by dx at 0 comma 0 is minus g by h or g by h. So, we do the same thing. We find the derivative of this. This is going to be 2x. This is going to be first 2y and then d by dx of the function of y, that is dy by dx. Then 2g and x raised to 0. So, it is going to be 2g. This is going to be 2h into derivative of y with respect to it, that is dy by dx. Collect all the terms to the other side. So, we get dy by dx into 2h plus 2y is equal to minus 2g minus 2x. So, dy by dx is going to be minus 2g minus 2x upon 2h plus 2y. You could have cancelled 2 itself and this dy by dx at 0 comma 0 is going to be minus 2g minus 2 into 0 is 0. 2h plus 2 into 0 is 0. So, this gets cancelled. So, eventually it is minus g upon h, which is this option. Let's check whether this option is working. Alright, we do have it as minus g by h. Okay. <coughs> Here, we have a very interesting sum. We need to solve this. Here we have y is equal to root x by m. So, let's for convenience sake, let us write it. y is equal to 1 upon root m, which is a constant, into x raised to half. Plus root m upon root x, which is going to be x raised to minus half. 
Now we need to show what is the value of this. So we need to find the value of this expression. So we'll have to do some things over here. Manipulation. So dy by dx hence would be 1 upon root m would remain as it is. Root m into, if you remember, half into x raised to half minus 1. That is x raised to minus half. That is this is sorry, this is going to be n root n, the root n. Then plus root n would remain as it is minus half into x raised to minus 1 minus half. I'm just explaining this. We can go ahead doing this. So we get dy by dx is equal to 1 upon 2 root mx. This is going to be minus minus root m upon 2 into x raised to minus 1 x into root x, x root x. Alright? Right. Now, if you look at what we need, we have one 2xy. So, there is one 2 is multiplied with do dy by dx. So, we can take the 2 that side. Okay, we will do this stage step by step. And we will try to take the LCM of this. When you take the LCM of this, the LCM is going to be, you can take it as x root mx. The 2 is already gone there. This divided by this is x. This divided by this is root m. So root m into root m is minus m. So x minus m we have. Now, we also have 2xy dy by dx. So let's multiply both sides by xy. So you get 2xy dy by dx is equal to x into x minus m upon x root mx. This x gets cancelled into y. Now if you look at what we need, y, there is no y over here. So we can substitute y as So we have this particular, so just to brush up once again, we found out the derivative dy by dx is 1 upon root m, half x, that is now by now you should standardize this, the d by dx of x raised to half is 1 upon 2 raised to 2 root x, here it is root m into minus half x raised to minus 3 by 2 which has been written this way. Now coming back to what we actually need is this. So there is one 2xy dy by dx. So take this 2 outside or multiply both sides by 2. Take the LCM, you get this. Now what have we done? I have multiplied both sides by 2xy. So this also you multiply by x into a. Now we write y as root x by root m plus root m by root x. So this gets cancelled. Now let's see what we get this. This is 2xy dy by dx x minus m upon root mx into root x by root m plus x minus m. We are using distributive law multiplying this with both these plus x minus m upon root mx into root m upon root x. So here the root x part gets cancelled. Here the root m part gets cancelled. So ultimately this is nothing 2xy dy by dx is nothing but x minus m upon m and plus x minus m upon x. Now further let's simplify this. If either you take the LCM easier would be 2xy dy by dx. We can split this up as x upon m minus m upon m plus x upon x minus m upon x. This eventually would be 2xy dy by dx is equal to x upon m minus 1 plus 1. This obviously gets cancelled minus m by x. Now we just rearrange these terms on this side and you get 2xy dy by dx minus x by m plus m by x is nothing but 0. So hence the value of 2xy dy by dx minus x by m plus 
and my x is 0. So this is how we can simplify this kind of a thing. Obviously you define dy by dx but subsequent to that once you get dy by dx see how the expression works. So do manipulate as in this case we want dy by dx multiplied by 2 so multiply both sides by 2. Then you also have to multiply by x and y hence multiply both sides by x and y but there is if that is the case on the right hand side there is no y term so we express y back as root x by n plus root n by x just to be on the safer side it's going to be like this and then when you simplify, when you simplify this ultimately you end up getting everything in terms of x and n hence this is the answer so I'm sure it should tally yes all right